subject to discuss. Tom Kerridge, um, thank you very much for joining us on Breakfast and getting up for us. Thank you very much, mate. Take care. Bye. Uh, yeah, just worth saying, uh, number 10, uh, there's the uh, statement on that. They're saying the Prime Minister will reply to that letter soon. The government was committed to making sure no child goes hungry as a result of the pandemic through the COVID winter grant scheme that was launched last year. That's the statement from number 10. Grant Chaps is coming up, the Transport Secretary. First, they find out what's happening wherever you are. Good morning, I'm Sonia Jessup. Residents living in a block of flats in East London who to 1,300 bodies has been built in northwest London as the number of people dying from COVID in the capital continues to grow and to introduce a test and vaccination programme for rough sleepers. New reports found London is lagging behind the rest of the country for job vacancies. As big now the travel, the uh, Circle Line, first of all, has minor delays anti-clockwise. It's because uh, some trains are home for the weather with Kate Kinsella. Good morning. It's a cold start, but a dry start that we're going to see the cloud and the rain eventually arriving. Now that rain is running into cold air, minus two the minimum tonight. So as that hits the cold air, it could turn to snow first thing on Saturday morning. Now we could see a couple of centimetres to start the day, but you'll notice that cold air moves away quite quickly. The mild air moves in, so that snow will turn back to rain. A dry I'm back in an hour. Now though, it's back to Charlie and Nagger. Bye for now. Hello, you're watching Breakfast with Charlie State and Naga Manchetti. Time now is 7.30. A travel ban has been placed on passengers coming from South America, Portugal and Cape Verde following concerns of a new coronavirus variant identified in Brazil. Scientists say the new strain is highly infectious, but there is no evidence that it's more deadly. Let's get some more detail now for the Transport Secretary Grant Shapps. Very good morning to you. Thank you for your time this morning. Can you just detail for us what changed as of 4 a.m. this morning? Yes, there's a travel ban from Brazil and actually uh, I think 14 other South American countries and also Portugal um, because uh, there is this new variant. We've seen these variants before. There are thousands of them, of course, but um, some of them which are more easily um, transmitted uh, are obviously of greater concern. Uh, and it's really as a precautionary principle. We, we're so close now. We've got three million of these vaccines in people's arms in from Portugal today. Uh, no, you, the, the, this is a tra travel ban. And in fact, from um, Brazil, there haven't been, uh, as far as I'm aware, any flights for the last week uh, either. And of course, from all of these locations, or nearly all of them, people would need to quarantine uh, even up to this point. So this is really an additional precaution. Um, we know with these mutant versions of the variant, we, we genome sequence them uh, in order to have a, a much closer look at them. And some of them, including, of course, the Kent variant that we have here, the South African uh, variant, and now this variant uh, from Brazil, uh, we, we have greater concerns about them because they just uh, are much more transmittable. It's you know up to 70% easier to catch them. Is the alarm on Sunday. Just to explain with these variants, to say there are thousands, I think 12,000 different mutations of coronavirus. So this is not unusual in itself. The UK has a particular facility and ability in genome sequencing. So we've sequenced nearly half of the entire sequencing around the world of the coronavirus has actually taken place in the UK. And it's a process which takes days and weeks to complete. It's not an instantaneous um, thing. Um, so we had a look at this particular mutation, as opposed to the many other thousands, uh, very carefully, um, saw that there may be an issue, not so much that the vaccine uh, won't work. Uh, in fact, scientists think that it will work, but just the fact that it's more spreadable, as with the version that we've got here, uh, and wanted to act as quickly as possible. As it happens, uh, there aren't, there haven't been flights coming from Brazil uh, in the last week. So it's not to Portugal, from Portugal to the UK. They'd then, in any case, be required to uh, quarantine. And the um, strain overall as I say, is you know, similar in, in, in some uh, makeups to the mutation that uh, that we have here. So I'm not trying to panic people about it. It just seems to me to be a good precautionary uh, measure. But uh, as I say, uh, going through the genome sequencing is not an instantaneous thing. We have Porton Down and, and, and some of the best facilities in the world. We do far more of the genome sequencing than anywhere else. Um, but we've acted really quickly. As you said, the Prime Minister was asked about it on Wednesday. By Thursday, I'd announced the ban. It, it, there wasn't really much time in between. OK, let's do, look at the carrier 
so the airline usually although it could be a ferry or train from europe of course would need to um, first of all check that you've had a coronavirus test and indeed that you filled in a passenger locator form they've been required since last year before you're actually able to get on the the flight in the same way as they would check that you have a passport before you can get on the flight and only if you can show within the last 72 hours a negative test and only if that test is up to very specific standards in fact may you board that plane traveling secondly if there are reasons why people are perhaps repatriating coming back to to, to the uk british citizens um, they are in almost all cases required now to uh, quarantine so that's 10 days you must go home and you must do that by law it is the law you'll be uh, reminded in a number of different ways including uh, about a, a quarter of people are intercepted by border force um, specifically to have their uh, forms um, checked uh, and to make sure that they realize what they need to do next. They'll also be called up uh, and they, they've, they've been in contact with something like three million people, by the way, on landing. This is not a trivial number. Public Health England will also um, get in touch with uh, a large proportion of um, people and cases are referred. Usually, though, people simply comply. Most people want to do the right thing. Um, you know, it's I think important to realize we're an island. There are reasons why. Uh, we have to get food and goods and sometimes people in and out. Um, but we've got the measures in place, including that quarantine that's been in place from last spring, summer, um, to make sure that, that, that everyone, you know, keeping to the lockdown, uh, are not infected by other people uh, uh, bringing the virus. Can I just be very careful with these comparisons because I'm looking at the United States. On the 12th of March, they introduced a complete travel ban from Europe, from the UK. Uh, the United States of America have been probably the worst affected in the world. They've had a terrible time of it. I look at South Korea, where a lot of people said they'd done terribly, terribly well. But they've only recently introduced, um, for example, the kind of pre-departure testing uh, and, uh, and, and, and programs which are very similar to ours in terms of quarantine and things. So um, there are a lot of differences when you make international comparisons, including but not limited to things like uh, you know, we happen to be a, 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 a smaller uh, island with a lot of people, um, but you can go to the countries which have vast spaces across, um, you, know, you know, in the case of places like Australia, an entire continent, and just don't have the compression of people. So there can be a lot of different facts, um, what they call the PCR test. Uh, and um, France have also been having a, a, a difficult um, time, as, as you know. And unlike the United Kingdom, they've not been able to roll out the vaccine at, uh, at the same speed. So just to be clear, if I can last... explain, that what we're hearing is sure. that... The... As I understand it, this doesn't apply to... Uh, first of all, no one should be going to France. <laughs> Let's just put that on the record again. No one should be travelling. Secondly, um, uh, we have a particular arrangement with the French with regard to hauliers. So this is the lorry drivers, and your viewers will remember the Kent disruption uh, when the French closed their border and it uh, with tests which are called the lateral flow tests. They're the ones you can get results from uh, within about 30 minutes or so. Uh, and, uh, and that remains in place uh, at the moment. And uh, that's very important because it enables goods to flow backwards and forwards. Prime Minister uh, confirmed this with the border walk, uh, workers um, uh, just, uh, I think, last night. Uh, and I speak to my opposite number in France uh, very regularly. Um, we have a, this arrangement with them uh, to do lateral flow tests. In fact, we've carried out over 66,000 proportion with coronavirus, 0.3%. That's much lower than you'd find if you did it in the wider population. You probably get uh, between one and one and a half percent uh, and in, uh, much lower than it would be in France as well. That's because hauliers, these long distance lorry drivers, that's what we've been doing. The French are actually coming over to see it. I think they're coming over on Monday to see how we're applying it because um, this will have been the biggest test of lorry drivers anywhere in the world with these lateral flow tests. Uh, and that's the system in place. And that's what's continuing uh, for the time being. Grant Shapps, thank you very much for your time this morning. It's Grant Shapps, the Transport Secretary. It is 16 minutes to eight.